Welcome to Mtron Training Part 3. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our calibration files. This is learning how to do proper editing techniques and file saving and structuring within our Mtune software. We're going to have a lot to learn. Let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working within our Mtune software, doing the actual editing changes, learning keystrokes, and learning proper file structure and proper file management. These are going to be the basics to build upon within the rest of our training course here, looking at all kinds of aspects of going in and doing actual tuning. We need to know these basics so that when we're making an editing change in our field table, for example, we're going to know how to accomplish that and how to do it most efficiently. So a lot of things to cover here. First thing I want to talk about is proper file structure and saving and management. This is going to be critical to making sure when you're doing your calibrating and tuning that you're giving yourself a way to step backwards or forwards in the calibration process. So for example, if we're doing the tuning, we get the engine fired up and running, and let's say we have cold start worked out, we have the engine idling on its own, you might want to go ahead and save the file as just startup tune. And then as you get the calibration process going a little bit further, you calibrate the part throttle cruise area of driving. In that case, you probably want to save your file as part throttle cruise tune. And then as you move into full throttle, going into wide open throttle, you may want to go and save your file for that particular process. What this is going to allow you to do is go backwards in case you're unhappy or having problems for some reason during the calibration of doing your wide open throttle tuning or doing your part throttle tuning. It allows you to have a stepping stone backwards. The software is not going to just revert itself back for the changes that you're making. You might be making hundreds of changes as you're going through the calibration process from start to finish. So by having proper file saving and management, it will allow you to have these stepping stones and allow you to make mistakes and go backwards, which is really important when you're beginning tuning. So this is going to be something you always want to make sure you're doing, regardless of any engine management system you're working with, whether it's going to be Mtron or another standalone system. This is just proper file management. So let's go through and take a look at how we're going to do this and just some ideas in order to get yourself organized. So the first thing that I want to do here is talk about save and save as. Pretty basic functions. We know if we want to save a file, we click file save and that saves it and stores it onto your computer. You do this with pretty much any software program. It's not going to be any different here than uh, working with any other software with the Mtune software, but we need to make sure as we're saving and working with these files that we are doing it in a logical manner. And that's where understanding the difference between file and file save as is going to come into play here. So if we go up here to file, we can find here save and save as. Save is going to allow us to simply save the file. That's pretty basic. Save as is going to allow us to rename the file and save it as a different name. This is where we need to pay attention to what we're doing in terms of saving and saving as, giving the file proper uh, different names and uh, kind of splitting apart the calibration process as we go along. So going here to file save, it's going to say in this case, do you want to save over top of this particular file, in this case it's the KV8 bench test that's found in the C drive Mtron Cal file folder. If I want to simply just oversave on top of what's here, let's say I made a bunch of changes and I'm happy with that, I can simply just click save. It'll say overwrite the file in case you want to overwrite this particular file here. We can find the file name is up at the top KV8 bench test. And the, or we can compare the data with this particular file. If we want to do a file comparison, we're able to do that. Now in this case, I don't want to compare the files. I simply want to just go ahead and do the actual save process. So we can see here, overwrite files, the option that we'd want to choose. If I click OK, it'll take a second. It'll actually save that, show, show us that it's saved. Everything is saved there. Pretty straightforward. Now, if we want to go in and make sure we're having segments or stepping stones in saving the file along the way in the calibration process, which I highly, highly recommend that you do. We need to use the other option is file save as. If we go up here, file, let's go here to save as. Now in the save as feature, we're gonna find this window pops up here. What this is going to do is allow us to save the file as a different name, and we can change the location that we're saving that file to. So this is the step that you wanna go ahead and after you've created your base calibration file, your base map, you wanna go in and save this into a unique folder for the project you're working with and save that particular file as that step in the calibration process that so may just be base map calibration or base map creation or whatever you want to call it and then you're able to get the engine fired up and running go through that process sorting out fuel spark idle control you might want to save that as startup tune and then the next process doing the part throttle cruise 
tuning, you'd save that as. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.